Hey, EEWTA here. That's everything else was taken already. Um, so I got my two NXT gladiators, and I'd seen a few things online where people were having issues with assembly. Um, as you can see, I put one together already. Uh, pick it up. It's not attached to that. It's just, you know, there. See? Um, all assembled. Put it together. I haven't plugged it in to see if it works, but I can't imagine why it wouldn't. All right. Definitely need a mounting because if you go too far to that side, it, it comes up. This side, not so much. Uh, it could be because of the electronics. Good forward motion, not so much in the rear. Twist is great. You can really feel it if you do it. So like a rotated, twisted, forward, left thingy. Anyway, I haven't used a stick in way too many years back before they had buttons and stuff on them. Uh, this is the premium gladiator. As you can see, I've got the eight-way analog stick here, the four-way hat, a four-way hat, where's that button at, and a button, and then I have the four-way hat on here. Uh, that's the way it comes by default. You also have your three buttons, two spinners, don't get me on technical terms, I don't know them. Like I said, I haven't had a stick in more than two decades. Um, and then an up and down guy here, which some people have reported all the way up and all the way down confuses it. And it jumps between uh, registra registering zero and 65,000, you know, that big number. It's not in my head right now, so I'm just not going to bother trying. And so you may need to keep it in the middle or calibrate it so it centers the middle. I don't know. We'll see what happens when I get there. Anyway, trying to make this short, sweet. Uh, I fix it toolkit. Excellent. Works for so many things. Um, that's where this came from. This is the tool that comes with it. It's a number five. Wait, down there. Number five hex. So I just grab my number five hex. This is the bag of all the extra things. If you want to see what's in it, I'll link my uh, photo gallery that I put together uh, when I unboxed. So I'm skipping the unboxing part. This is everything. By the way, this, throw it in your box. You don't need it. Um, you need one, two, three, four, and the screws. That's all it takes to put it together. First thing you do, you take the tube, and you take the wire, slide the wire in. This keeps it from getting caught. Note there were two pieces of tape across the top here. Uh, I removed both of those. You do not want them on there once you attach this. Make sure when you take the stick, it's facing the right direction. All the buttons back towards the wheels. Slide this through the hole in the center. It's down on the desk. Flip it over. Pull it through. There you go. You're done with that. Do what you want with it. I recommend using it when you put it back or when you take the device apart. So if you want to see, try and angle this. Um, the shape is not identical. The one side has a little groove on it. You can just see right there at the top. And there's a slot for that to go into. You need to make sure you get it in there right. And then push. Push. Doesn't really take all that much effort. Um, cable comes in through here. You'll see this cable that's already in is in this groove. There's a second groove right next to it. You just take this guy, and we're going to temporarily stick him in there. Uh, it does go there permanently, but uh, we need to adjust it after we get everything attached. All right, so you get three metal screws that are magnetic and four aluminum screws that are not magnetic. The three magnetic black ones. I can't get in with the magnet. All right, down, two hands. Anyway, we grab those first. The first screw is the important one. Make sure you grip the stick in a good place. All right, you want to take this little guy here, and then it doesn't matter which hole you're putting it in. Get it going. And then I'm going to find some way to do this. I forget how to do it. There we go. Go like this with your thumb on the bottom if you can reach, and squeeze it together. Good bit of tension there on the right hand, if you're right-handed, while you're screwing the screw in. Look and see if there's a gap. I don't think so. And I forgot to get my flashlight out. Which drawer is it in? Um, 
I have a magnifying glass flashlight. I think somebody ran off with my flashlight. Oh well. Blind old man flashlight. Mm. So, look in. Magnifying actually helps. It's tight. You can see that it's flush there. The other screws are much easier to put in. It's just that first one. Uh, what I figured out when I was doing the first stick, if you go to put the screw in, and right before you think it should be tight, it doesn't feel like it's gripping. And it just spins and spins and spins really loose. That means that you're not pushing in the stick far enough. Um, I will warn you when you're putting these on, you are screwing these into molded plastic, I do believe. As such, um, you can strip it really easily. So don't over tighten these. Doesn't take a lot of twists here. I'll count them this time. One, two, three, four. I need to move a wire. Five, six, seven. Slip that time. Eight. Slipped again. Nine. Ten twists there, and it's quite snug. Um, if I'd gone any farther, it would have stripped it. I probably went too far as it is. So then we'll pull this back out. What you're going to want to do is grab the stick with a finger, two fingers, three, whatever it takes, but hold it there. Get your thumb back here on the back side so you can pull the stick forward. Backwards? Backwards, sorry. And that's the maximum length that this wire needs in order for the stick to function properly without you know, being caught up on the wire. And you want this tight because if it's loose, then it can cause problems. There. There we go. Thread it between there. Good and tight. I give it a little bit of pull towards the stick so that it's not completely tight. And then you can see when I move forwards and backwards, there's a little bit of play there. Not too tight, not too loose. Side to side doesn't do too much to it. Then for the Gladiator NXT, these wires plug in right here, slightly off. Can you see in there? It's a slightly off-colored uh, connector. It's tanned. All the rest of them are white. It would have been, and my wire's loose. It would have been nice if the connector on the end of the wire matched the coloring. It would have made it a lot easier. Let me pull the stick back again. Did not have this issue with the last one. It just went right in and stayed there. Let me give it a little slack. Nothing too tight. You just don't want to have so much slack on this side that it gets caught in the spring when you're using it because then all sorts of nasty things might happen to you. So we're two-thirds done. Take your plate. Got some good weight to it. Put this on top. There we go. All right. So you could put this on the other way. Um, I don't know. I'm going to recommend putting it the way I've got it here. So that the plate is basically just a little lip underneath the buttons here. And then the front side is not. I mean, it sticks out farther. I don't know. Anyway, the four aluminum machine screws go in here. So you don't strip it because they are aluminum. Get it in. See if you can twist it with your fingers. That way you get the threading lined up right. And you won't mess anything up when you use the screwdriver. If you can't spin it with your fingers or it's tight. That means that it's not lining up. Take it out and try again. I know NXT has videos and all this stuff, um, but they're music backed and silent, if I remember correctly. Go. Is that one twisting? Yeah, that one's twisting. The fourth one here. Give it a few good twists. Okay. Same size driver bit. It's number five hex. Mostly tight. This one mostly tight. You don't want to go too, too tight until you have one on each side or diagonals, whichever way you feel comfortable doing, just to make sure the plate doesn't catch on the, um, the plastic lip here. You want to make sure that it ends up flush before you tighten these down all the way. Otherwise, you got to take them all out and do it again. Um, almost done. Whoa, that sucks. That I fix it kit. I'll finish off with the one that it came with. There we go. 
And there you have it. A left and a right NXT Gladiator. Yes, I know I only showed you the left, but there they are. Totally assembled, identical, and good to go. Now I just need to uh, mount them onto my desk. All right, thanks for watching. I uh, hope this helps somebody out there. I'll go ahead and throw a link at the bottom for uh, the pictures that I took for the unboxing that shows all the components that comes in each box and how they're packaged. All right, again, thanks for watching. Have a good day.